Arsenal Fan TV, Chris, what can I say? I mean, after the weekend, you were saying to me that be optimistic, keep the faith. I'm finding it very hard at the moment to keep the faith in this team. Mm. I mean, that's Swansea. I mean, I know they're mm. fighting for their lives and that, but that was, a, that was a terrible performance tonight by Arsenal yet again. Mm. And we've seen a lot of them this season. I feel vindicated in, in me saying all season, basically, that I'm optimistic in terms of falling asleep. So I base that a lot on other teams as well. And I mean, I, I basically compared us against Man City and they lost 3-0 tonight. We should be 10 points ahead of City if you know, we'd had a competent season, in my opinion. But, you know, you said it was a bad performance tonight. I'm not sure if I 100% agree. I think, yes, it's a devastating it was result. A, it was a good performance. It was a good performance. It was a good performance up until they scored. Mm. As soon as they scored, it just appeared to me that Arsenal just went. I'm actually shocked. You know, I'm, I'm in disbelief that we contrived to lose that somehow tonight. I mean, we hit the bar three times. We should have been 3-0 up at half-time easy. I mean, uh, yeah, but only, we've been only hearing we this all season. I know, Chris. I know, but we've been hearing it all season. It's come at the worst possible time, unfortunately. But in football, over the course of the season, you do get games like this where just nothing will go in for you, and it's just not going our way at the moment. But are we clinical enough? No. I've are we clinical it. enough? No, no, not at all. I've said to you this before a couple of weeks ago. We're the least clinical team in the league, and you know we have to look at Giroud's chance tonight. I mean, that was a tap in as far as I'm concerned. He's decided to whack it, and that was that was a critical moment in the game. It's able to put us. Um, two goals up and that second goal was vital really wasn't it because that was the one complaint I had we started off really well we were creating chances Joel Campbell brilliant goal I'll come to him in a minute and then um, we, we, for 10 minutes we sort of switched off and that's a common trait with Arsenal unfortunately and we, when, as soon as we score a goal we for some reason think that's game one and all over and we did switch off 10 minutes and they, we gave them an easy goal and then second half, you know, it was OK. But the, their goal was coming, actually. We Sigurdsson missed mm. an open goal just before they scored. But let's talk about the positive tonight. I was really happy that Joel Campbell played. He, in my opinion, he's been massively unfairly over, un, overlooked. So what has he done? Well, why was he taken off? I know. I don't know. I'm not the manager. I don't know what his physical um, capabilities were like. And maybe he wanted to bring Theo on and Welbeck for something different. But I would have taken Drew or Ramsey off. They were having little impact on the game. And Campbell was our best player, not just the finish, but I, I felt like every time he had the ball, something was going to happen. But it's not just goals. He is a clinical scorer, but it's also the assists he's did. Like it's, um, <laughs> earlier on in the season against Zagreb, and he is a playmaker. He's got skills, man. And it, he does make stuff happen. And he should be higher up in the pecking order. He should be above. There's no reason why. Theo and Oxley Chamberlain should be ahead of him. Mm. If, if our players were picked up based on football they played rather than their wages or their, you know, how big they are in football, it would be uh, um, Campbell would be starting every week. But is, I, it, is the league over? I mean, you no, said I keep the faith on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, I'm going to say keep the faith. Look, I want to say still saying keep the faith. Well. I keep the faith. I support the team through thick and thin. That's the thing. So about do I. I. But I'm finding yeah. it hard. The word keep the faith. When I say I keep the faith, but I'm finding it hard to feel that this team is good enough to win the league. Well, me and you are an exception amongst Arsenal fans. Arsenal fans do not support the team through thick and thin. They support well, the I team thought, when we I win. thought that the fans were really behind the team tonight mm. for this game. I, I, I actually, when I was coming here, thinking to myself, oh, there's going to be a lot of fans that are going to be like, is the atmosphere is going to be terrible. It weren't. Fans were behind it. The, the atmosphere was good. They were getting behind the team. I just think decision-making by the manager, the performance in the second half just weren't good enough. I agree with some of what you say, but I also think our home fans are probably the worst fans in the league. I mean, case in point about me saying we only support our team when we win is Barcelona last but no, week. I, but I, mean, you, I don't down, think you could say that to, down and we walked out. But I don't think you could say that today. I oh, think no, yeah. I think that even when we were losing, they were still behind the team. Yeah, yeah. I think that team has let them down tonight. I really do. I think the team let us down on Sunday in terms of effort and commitment but in tonight I can't really fault the commitment and we did try we sometimes just have to accept we weren't good I mean the second goal we're just not defending good enough well enough at the moment mm. Czech has to take the blame I know he's been our star this season but he has to take and also, but not just Czech 100% I mean Williams wasn't marked um, for that at all so we have to we have to defend a lot better if we're going to Tottenham but uh, in terms of the league Nothing, it's a devastating result, but nothing's actually changed that much. Mm. It's Tottenham lost, Man City lost 3-0, Leicester have got a point. I don't, I'm going to say, OK, keep the faith. You never, it's a crazy season. I can't, I'm mm. going to give up predicting what's going to happen anymore. Let's just see how it goes. Also, Fan TV, Mo, disappointing tonight. I mean, is the, 